What is the most difficult part of your job? Uh, seeing um, bad things happen to good people. Shane's is a great company to work for. I feel like we're one of their commercials and orientation now. But Shane's is a great company to work for. I love Shane's. I love it very much. Coming here, I actually see what the word rehab means. I see it in action all the time. Um, it's, it's great to see somebody come in who really can't do too much and then walk out the front doors when they couldn't even do that to begin with. Um, like you, for example. You know, I was only here dealing with you for about a month, maybe. And you've made so much progress. You really, really have. So many people have no idea how fast they can progress, how much better they can be with the use of the fantastic uh, team. And how do you feel about Shams? You didn't tell me. I think Shams is a good corporation and the fact that they treat everybody. The, the best part of, of Shannon's rehab is I think they, we all have the same goal and that's to um, get the patient back to, to that next level. The rehab, excellent. OTs, PTs, they're excellent. I, I love it. I totally love it. So, go Shannon. Go Shannon. <laughs> go Shannon. All right, that's it. <laughs> And just being able to see that and know that I had some input on that and never helped the hand, I love that feeling. I love that feeling. That's, that's what makes me happy. To see your patients really make good progress and be able to get home. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. I know my Kingdom awaits And they've forgiven my mistakes I'm coming home They told me that this would be the hardest thing I would ever do in my life. My name is John McPherson. Why are you here? I got in a bicycle accident and I got a contusion of the vertebrae in my neck. The most difficult part of my job is when I can't fix somebody. The reason I came in here, and, and as most healers are, you want to go in and be able to cure somebody. Kind of get to meet them right where they're at and kind of experience things with them as far as learning and changing and that kind of stuff. So, What's your name? Robert Damory. And why are you here? I'm here because I had a bone marrow transplant and progressed into graft versus host disease. I, I can approach patients with more of a holistic approach, you know, like kind of looking at every component of getting somebody back to functioning as independently as possible. My name is Andrew Reed, and on March 12, 2011, I was completely paralyzed from the chest down. Patient here, leave with miracles all the time, all the time. We see it happen so often. It happened because I had an AV malformation which is an abnormal blood vessel in my spine and it completely and spontaneously burst and left me completely paralyzed. What made you choose this profession? A uh, strong desire to help people. Um, actually I was a patient here and when I started I wanted to get back. And I... When you're faced with a stroke or a spinal cord injury, no one knows how far you'll recover but there's always hope. You have to have 
the mindset that you're going to make yourself better with their help and they're going to give you all of the tools that you need to do it. It's very rewarding for some of them to learn how to help those who are in the same situation you were in before. And you have to learn to just take life day by day and hopefully you'll get to that day where whether it be mentally or physically you achieve your goals and you learn how to live life again the way you want to live it. And bring it on anybody. <laughs> we can help anybody for sure. Thank you, friend. The best part of my job is the patients that I get to work with. It's just helping people, man. I really like it. I came here to Shan's rehab from hospice. So uh, I failed hospice and now I'm here in rehab at Shan's. I do see miracles happen here. If I don't believe in them, the patients that are going through them do believe in it, and that's what's important. The best part is if, if you just slow down and pay attention to what's going on, you can really um, individualize a patient's uh, recovery and take them from whatever position to a higher level of function. And whether it is to recover physically or emotionally, you have to try your best to recover. Because when you're faced with a crisis in your life, usually you can either give up or you can try to make things better. The most difficult for me is uh, patients who are really having a difficult time and their prognosis doesn't look as well as you hoped it would. I became totally uh, unable to do anything on my own. Lost over 100 pounds and uh, totally debilitated. When I first got injured, I couldn't even get out of bed or turn myself without someone helping me. I couldn't even lift myself up because all my muscles and all my connections and nerve connections were gone. But coming here, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It has been a journey that has made me meet many people going through the same things and I'm learning from them and they're learning from me and they're helping me. You have to try your best because if you give up on your body, your body's gonna give up on you. And I know there'd be some nights when I'd be on the couch and I'd just be laying there and I can't move my legs up, but they start flinching, they start moving, I start feeling jolts in them and that's my legs coming back to life. Really get to know the patients and see that progress and really get to, um, I don't know, kind of celebrate those little gains every week with a patient, so. And you have to dedicate yourself to an ideal more than you ever have in your entire life. But if you do, the possibilities are endless. The doctors don't know, the therapists don't know, no one knows how far you will recover, but it is all in your hands. I've learned from my injury how fragile human life can be. I've learned how humble the human being really is. Uh, that's the easiest one of your questions, by the way, to not take a single thing for granted. Lots of faith. You didn't ask me that one. Just going home to my family at night, that's always a good way to get through my struggles. I just pray and have a sense of humor about it, because if you're serious, it's just going to kill you. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> when those people get past those bad things and they have great outcomes, that's a very rewarding uh, aspect of my job. You get me, you just, who, who wants to work? I mean, really, no matter what you do. You know, I'm not a billionaire. Well, you know, I'm driving again after seven months. It feels good to be driving again. It makes you appreciate the little things. It's been going well. Rehab's been re very, very good. Hey, man. Way to go, Andrew. You have to put the work in. You have to put the effort in. It is your mental mindset that is going to help keep you staying strong, keep you working hard. I now walk in my house without a cane, and I am working in physical therapy to walk everywhere without one. This year, I'm just gonna try my best to keep on getting better as I continue to progress, and I'm not gonna quit. 
I just want to thank everyone who has supported me through this. And I just want to say to Shant, I could not have done this without you. To my family, I love you with all my heart. And to everyone else, I'll see you around. Oh yeah, fire blown up.